Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to another episode of Geeking and Drinking. This is episode 74. So let's go. What's going on, everybody? Like I said, welcome to episode 74. I can't wait to 75. 74 of Geeking and Drinking. I'm Eddie. I'm um, Steven. And... I don't even know where to start out because there's just a lot, a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Like there's, there's just so much. Well, I know where to start off. I'm exhausted. Let's get some beer. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the second episode I've done now. I'm like, <laughs> so there's so much to talk about that I forget about. I don't I want a beer. I need a beer. Yes, you sound like you need a beer. Yes. So I got two October faces. Do you want to pick one or do you? Uh, just grab anyone's fine. Grab one, yeah. Oh, have you tried these before? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So yeah. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, so wants to drink out of a bottle. Open the bottle. <laughs> uh, so it is October. It is uh, the fall months. Uh, spooky season, if you will. Um, it doesn't really feel like it, does it? No, it doesn't. It man. really does not. I mean, it, it really doesn't. Like, I mean, I was just talking to my wife the other day. And I was like, why aren't you even decorating? I mean, you decorate <laughs> the inside, yeah. but no one sees the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it, I, mean, I, I mean, I will say, though, the weather is pretty nice in the mornings. Uh, now? <laughs> yes, now. Um, but like I said, it is October. It is that time of year. If you listen to our last episode, I mean, we usually, not usually, you know, not on purpose, we, you know, drank a lot of IPAs, you know, this whole past year, you know, well, but uh, it is October. So, like I said, uh, we're going to be drinking Oktoberfest for the remainder of the month. Um, and I think we've had both of these before in the show. But uh, in this case, if you're not familiar, this is Oktoberfest from Real L. Um, it comes at 6%. Usually, um, Oktoberfest beers or what are they called, like Marzins, Marzins. Uh, yeah, there's two different ones. There's the Marzins, and then there's the, um, I'll look it up here in a little bit, but, yeah. I, was, yeah. I mean, I, generally, like, a, a Bavarian-style lager, um, and they usually come in around 6, you know. Fest like, beer. Fest beer. They usually come in, uh, you know, like, around 6%, you know, for, uh, in the higher five, so, I think what we've had one that was, like, 6.3 before. I don't know. But, Probably. yeah, this is real, oh, it's really good. I mean, guys, try it out. We just, you know, it's Oktoberfest. What, what, what are we talking about? Um, you know what I do want to do though. I do want to try some more pumpkin beers. I don't yes, think yeah, we, need, we need to get some more pumpkin beers on the episode for sure. Uh, so like Eddie said, he's drinking the uh, Real Arrow Oktoberfest, and I'm actually going to be enjoying me some uh, butter beer. No, not really. Uh, some uh, Oktoberfest from St. Arnold's, full bodied and malty. Yeah. Yes, uh, darker than mine. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. There's like there's just two different styles. Uh, this one's coming at six point six percent. Oh damn! So yeah, there you go. Maybe I was wrong. I thought there was. A... Anyway, cheers. Cheers. Yeah, yours is a lot darker than mine. Um. Yeah, like I said, top of the show at the beginning. There's a, there's a lot, man. There's a lot of my only news. Um. Uh, like just a lot. There's a lot of shows on TV right now. Like it's kind of ridiculous. Um, ridiculous. And I mean, I mean that in a good way, because like I mean, a, a lot, uh, especially a lot more lately. I've been thinking about uh, like our, one of our first. Ep- I mean, I think our first episode of this podcast when we were just talking about like all the different, uh, you know, all the different streaming uh, networks that were coming. Like they weren't even here yet. You know, we only only had Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, and that was it. Um, like HBO, HBO Max wasn't around. Paramount, Disney Plus wasn't. Even I mean, around. HBO kind of had their um, their um, app, but it was more like um, I mean, they did have HBO Go and HBO Now. I think yeah. at the time, uh, H one of them was HBO Go was if you had cable and you could just log on to HBO, mm-hmm. um, you know, via your uh, cable or satellite provider, and then um. Then they came out with HBO Go, which was just pretty much anything you can get on HBO without having cable as well. So, yeah. yeah but that one was still fairly new. It was still about the same price. I yeah, think. and at that too, they weren't making like shows to go directly to that app. Like all, most of the most of the shows, I mean, yeah, they were on HBO, but the, you could watch them on TV. 
Yeah, and then not only that, but, like, I think at the time, too, like, any of the shows that were on, like, I think Silicon Valley was still on at the time. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, you couldn't watch it the same day. I think you had to watch it the next day. It you know would, what? It wouldn't be available for streaming until the next day. You know what's funny too is that like now that I think about it, because I don't really. I mean, I, I know we have cable here, but we don't have like, you know, I guess quote unquote premium cable because that's what HBO was. Like, whenever House of Dragon, you know, premieres on, you know, like the, for instance, like tonight, um, the, the like does it still premiere on TV? Like, you know? Yeah. So that's why. So like okay, so for instance, um, Disney Plus, you're able to view the new episode, like at what, two three in the morning, yeah. and it's available to you throughout the, the whole day. Mm-hmm. So with House of Dragons, the, the with the latest episode that's going to be coming out, um, you know, tonight, you know, via this uh, uh, podcast recording, um, it's not going to be available till seven because that's when it. Uh, premieres on right on uh cable mm-hmm. or satellite is at seven so that's why you can't watch it till then yeah so that kind of sucks but yeah <laughs> but i mean i i guess it still kind of keeps the same like oh it's sunday night like time for you know game of thrones i mean even though even though it's on streaming you gotta mm-hmm. you gotta wait it's not tv it's hbo <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah so i mean like i just keep thinking about like how like Entourage. like we you know you know and like right now like i said um you know we you just have a lot like you know, you have um, on Hulu. You have several shows. I mean, plus they partner with FX. So you have, you know, I mean, at least what I've been watching on on Hulu is Reservation Dogs. I just finished finished it up, season two, and I started watching that. Uh, Welcome to Wrexham. That uh, um, what's his name? Uh, Ryan Reynolds and Rob. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, when they purchased uh, Rob, um, uh, what's his name? I can, from, never, uh, I can never pronounce his last name. Malkin. From uh, um, yeah, it's always sunny. Always sunny, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and uh, yeah, he's he's always him and Charlie Day are like my favorites. It's it, <laughs> like their first episode was really good. Like, I just got to keep watching it. And then and then you have uh, you know on uh, Netflix you have the, I mean at least I'm just kind of naming shows that I I know that are popular at the moment at the moment. So like right now like Dahmer is like you know popular on Netflix. I mean you got House of Dragon on HBO. You got you know Rings of Power on on Amazon. You have uh, She Hulk and Andor. You know. Uh, on Disney Plus, so, like there's just a lot. Like there's a, lot. and I, that, that's not even like the you know. I know there's a lot more than especially some that you're watching too. Um, yeah, I mean, for instance, on like you know, going back to Hulu, um, I'm, I'm watching Reservation Dogs as well, which I just finished up. Um, and then I'm also watching that uh, new one um, uh, with Johnny Knoxville, uh, Keegan Michael Key, and um, Judy Greer uh, reboot. I didn't even know what the hell that yeah, is. Dude, like, it's pretty. What is that on? It's funny. It's on Hulu. Hulu? It's, it's, oh. it's a Hulu original. Uh, another one I keep telling you that you should watch that's on Hulu is uh, This Fool. This fool. Uh, that one's freaking hilarious. So, like, if you're familiar with the um, the Cholo Fit guy, that mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> uh, he comes out in it, and um, uh, he's supposed to be a cousin to another guy who's uh, whose job is to like um, help. Uh, former thugs, mm-hmm. you know, uh, get back into society and yeah, find yeah. jobs and stuff like that. So it's like uh, the the little thing that he works with is called uh, hugs, not thugs. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that that one's a, that one's a funny too. Uh, I, I finished that one. Um, the other main guy on there is uh, Chris Estrada. He's another comedian, uh, and Frankie Cantinanos, uh He he, that's the guy that plays the total fit guy. So. <laughs> It's funny, dude. It's fucking hilarious. It kind of also brings me back to some of the, like, family stuff, too, you know, mm-hmm. growing up here in San Antonio and, you know, growing with the Mexican family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, like I said, like, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff. I mean, other than that, I mean, like, what else are you watching on, like, you watch, I mean, anything on Netflix? I know that. Also, too, I mean, movies, too. I know that. I mean, I don't know if you're interested, but I just, I just know it came out because of Instagram. Was that Blonde? Movie? I haven't seen Blonde yet. That's on my, uh, on my watch list. Uh, I already finished Dahmer. Uh, so that one was pretty good, uh, real interesting. Um, what else am I watching on Netflix? Not really watching much on Netflix. Those are the only kind of like big things. Oh, um, I also have um, the Gray Man on my watch list. Of that mm-hmm. one. Did you ever watch that uh, Sandman? No, I don't no. know. I just I don't know. that was on Netflix, right? Yeah, it's still it's. There, <laughs> I, I, I'm never interested in it, but I'm like that. I mean, I heard it was good. It was like, oh, yeah, man, and then I, like, I'm not I really s- familiar with who Sandman is anyway. I started the third season of the Umbrella Academy, but I just never got back to it. 
Yeah. Like, I oh, know. yeah, I fell off of that <laughs> show for a season. Yeah. Because it was that show and another show that were on at the same time, uh, Umbrella Academy, and what was the other one? But it was another show that was on, like, simultaneously with that one. Um, I don't I don't remember what it was, but, yeah, and I fell off that show a long time ago. Uh, is Walking Dead on right now? Yeah, Walking yeah. Dead just came back, so we're, um, I'm watching that as well. Uh, I think that one I'm all caught up with because it, it gets a little confusing because I have the AMC Plus app on that one, mm-hmm. and I get to watch it a week ahead of when the new episode comes out. So I think I already saw this week's episode last week. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. So it's, it's kind of weird how they do that. It, and I get confused because I was like, oh, yeah, there's a new episode of Walking Dead. And we're, we were like, no, we just saw that one last week. That's last week. It's like, well, technically that's this week's that we got to watch last week. Yeah. Hmm, that's weird. I've never heard of that. Last week tonight. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, so. I and, mean, of course, you know, Disney Plus, I'm watching She-Hulk and uh and or okay know. so like i think last time we talked about she hulk a little bit we were just a few episodes in um and now i think we're only, we only we only have one more episode i think we're this last one was i episode. think maybe the last one we saw uh when we when we last did the episode i think we got i think we were talking about the big surprise maybe or not what the helmet yeah i think so yeah 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 yeah, yeah because i remember it was like oh man it was gonna be i was so excited you saw yeah. the, 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 the helmet with the horns you know obviously it meant it was daredevil and then the next two episodes were just... I think the next three after that, no? No, I think it was the next two. Two? Yeah. Um, yeah, like, and I think, like, those episodes between then and now, between that, you know, where they did the helmet thing until now, like, I think they've just been just not... Nah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm just not into it. Like, no, I'm, not, I'm not saying that they're bad, like, but... But when you get that Easter egg and nothing happens in the next two episodes, you're yeah, like, what the fuck? <laughs> but even then, too, like, just like this, like... You know, the, you know, like, it's just what's going on in the show. Like, like, this show is called, like, She-Hulk Attorney at Law. And, like, she's not even, like, with the exception of a few episodes, like, she's barely even, like, in the courtroom, you know? Like, that's kind of, like, what I was hoping for, you know, because I like that kind of stuff. And then, where well, like, the last episode we got with, with, when we did, you know, spoilers, by the way, if, you know, you guys are not caught up with She-Hulk. I mean, and at and that, and that, too, the major surprise, it's been all everywhere. Everyone knows. That, that, I mean, it was on the preview. Yeah, everyone knows Daredevil is in the show. So I was going to make an appearance somehow. Yeah. 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 Make an appearance. Yeah. I would say make an appearance. I'm, that's the thing too. Like, I think that really hurt them. Like people were just waiting for Daredevil, you know? So like when they teased it and then like the, the, the episodes that followed were like, you know, of course we didn't get him and then it was just like, was it like a wedding episode? That one was, God. Yeah. That was probably my least favorite. And then the therapy. No, you know what? Uh, which one? The, and then, and then it was the therapy one with like the group therapy session <clears throat> with, with with Blonsky. Yeah, yeah. Um, Maybe that one was my least favorite. That one I didn't mind so much. And then too, like I said, like like I I laughed a few times, you know. In in you know, I, I laughed a lot, you know, because it's there's some of the stuff they say is it's pretty funny, which is like, where are we going with this? You know, it's just like, and then, I don't know, man. It was just weird. Um, but you know, like I said, then we did we finally did get the episode with Daredevil. And like, I don't know about you, but like, like I was into it, you know, not just, not just because they heard Daredevil. Oh, dude, I saw it like two, three times already. <laughs> you know, like not just because it was, it had Daredevil, but like, it just like, it seemed more, uh, like a part of the MCU. Like they mentioned in the Sokovian Accords, you know, like, and it's just like, it kind of brings it back to like the MCU. Like, oh yeah, this is an MCU show. I forgot, you know, you know. Did you see that meme on, uh, um, I saw it on, on Instagram. <laughs> Uh, where um, Matt Murdock brings up the uh, how the Sokovia Accords are um, appealed, appealed mm-hmm. or whatever, and, and at the bottom it says has Captain America says so I was right all along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, what's it called? It uh, what was I gonna say? So I mean, how did you feel about the episode, dude? Like I said, I loved it. I mean, for me, more I think it was the opposite of what you of what you liked. I liked it because of Daredevil. <laughs> Um, you know, I mean, from the Netflix series, you know, out of all of the ones that, you know, we got from Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, uh, even Punisher and the, um, Defenders, Defenders, uh, Daredevil was my favorite, even in the Defenders as, as not good of a show it wasn't, you know, it really wasn't, uh, Daredevil was still my favorite, you Mm -hmm. know, in that, in that show. And, um, you know, so... 
for him to come out in the MCU and, you know, finally as Daredevil because we did get him as Matt Murdock in uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. Yeah. Uh, you know, when he catches the break, and they're like, how'd you do that? <laughs> I'm a good lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, to actually get Daredevil, I was just like, oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. This is fucking badass. And, you know, I know they did a little bit more CGI stuff with him, too. Oh, yeah, I didn't, uh, didn't bother you know, me at all. You know, it really didn't bother me because it, it, it was just, cool. It kind of took me back to, like, oh, dude, this is like when, you know, like, Spider-Man, when Daredevil came out in the animated Spider-Man series. Yeah, like, he's, like, flipping around, you know, kind of similar to what Spider-Man would. And then, you know, even in that hallway fight where he's fighting the, the, the six or seven guys and, uh, you know, his... Um, his baton things and yeah, then, yeah. Like, he's got the, the chain went and mm-hmm. then brings it back I was like oh shit <laughs> that, that was like fucking badass and then you know um, obviously we've seen him team up with like some other powerful superheroes you know considering Jessica Jones and Luke Cage mm-hmm. um, it was fun to see him you know with you know a whole other new character you know in involving She-Hulk. Yeah, and that, like, I like how he kept like telling her like you don't know what you're doing like you, mm-hmm. you don't do this you know yeah. like she's like it's, it was it was funny, and then um, I don't know like I I I also like how kind of um, you could tell when the, you know the writers when they're writing the show or, like whenever they're like you know I guess coming up with the episodes or whatever like that they they like kind of predicted how like the internet would would uh you know react to the show you know like with all the trolls and everything like and it's funny that they pointed out in the show you know that that's kind of the whole uh what's it intelligentsia whatever like that's like kind of trying to expose her Mm. and like you know kind of like they essentially released like a i guess like a sex film of she hulk you know because that's what's kind of what's going on i I just thought it was kind of like small like okay that's that's cool like i mean it's funny um but we do have one more episode of She-Hulk. I, I don't I have no idea where it's going, you know. But yeah, I don't. This I'm, point, yeah, I really don't I'm know. Not, yeah, I'm not really like. Not to say I'm not invested. But I'm just like. Well, and I even this? like how she even says that herself. Yeah. Like, wait, show still going on? Yeah. Like we had a good ending, you know. Why? Why are you still here? You yeah. Know? And then you know, oh, is this the part where she mentions you know, Red Hole? Yeah, you know, like another. Uh, you know, villain may appear, you know, like a, like a red Hulk or something. Yeah. And, you know, I get myself in a predicament or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, just like, okay. And then, yeah. And then it ends, you know, uh, but like, uh, you know, we'll see where it goes. I mean, I'm again, like this isn't my favorite show, but it's not like my least favorite. I could think that goes to Moon Knight. I, I think I said that once and I'll continue saying it. Moon Knight was terrible. <laughs> I'm going to watch it again. I need, I need to watch it again. It wasn't terrible. I just, just wasn't good. <laughs> I guess you know if you don't know Moon Knight, maybe I don't know. I like the Oscar Isaac in it, but uh, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I like just... the two personas that he was playing, and then not realizing yeah. that there was a third. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's okay. Okay, okay. No, it wasn't that. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I just like it was kind of real forgettable. Plus, like after that, Miss Marvel came out, and I really liked Miss Marvel. But uh, yeah, I guess it just seems like these shows are. I don't like like we still watch him every week, you know. Like we still talk about him, but like, like uh, we didn't really talk much about Miss Marvel while it was going on, and then we talked about Moon Knight here and there. But like, I remember when, like when like WandaVision came out, like it was a big thing. Loki, you know, you know, you know, uh, Falcon Winter Soldier. Well, yeah, I mean, because we were still coming off of the um, Endgame high too, you know, and wanting to see what was going on with these mm-hmm. characters, you yeah. know, what, you know. Obviously, what happened with Wanda, uh, you know, what, what caused the whole, you know, why is she in these, like, TV show, sitcom yeah. uh, scenarios? I guess that, that was, that, that was um, those were the shows that kind of, like, you know, where we, we knew we were going to get a multiverse, yeah. you know? Yeah, and then, and then how you were like, how are they going to do a Loki show? Like, what's, you know, mm-hmm. he's dead, and it's like, to find out that it was the Loki from 2012 yeah. uh, during the New York attacks, and then... Um, <clears throat> and then, of course, you know, how was uh, Sam going to, you know, take over as Captain America, you know, with uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier? Yeah. I don't know. I, I think Phase 4 in, in general, like, I wouldn't say it's been just a, a disappointment because there are definitely a lot of good moments. But, like, it's just been kind of lukewarm to me. Like, it's like, I don't know. Like, I like, I would I like to see where all, this is, where all this is supposed to be going, you know, because we, you know, I, I know eventually we're going to lead to 
the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars, which is like, damn, it's a long time between then and now. <laughs> so what I do like right now is how the, um, definitely how the shows are definitely, you know, talking about, you know, things that have been going on. However, um, I just don't really feel the connection right now. You know, like they haven't really mentioned too much about, you know, Doctor Strange or anything like that. Um, what else? Like, you would think they would also kind of mention, like, you know, oh, what happened in, you know, the, the town that WandaVision took over or something, you mm-hmm. know? Uh, like, they really haven't, like, connect those dots too much. Yeah. You know? Very, mean, like, and at that's too- very, and it's very subtle. Like, um, okay, for instance, in Doctor Strange, when uh, he's talking to America Chavez, is like, oh, yeah, I worked with a guy named Spider-Man. And yeah. That was it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Especially that. Especially because, like, you know, all like, these things were happening, yeah. you know, and, like, you would think, like, oh, yeah, remember when, or, like, yeah. and then, also, I mean, you know what, what, and I think we forgot to, I think we you, mentioned You, in, you would think the, at least Daredevil would have brought it up, like, you know, I needed to get out of New York for a little bit with all the, uh, with all the uh, space thing going on or yeah, something. You know, yeah, just, just yeah. Just kind of, you know, mention something, you know, yeah. because he is in New York in Hell's Kitchen, but I think what, uh, they're in, where, where are they in, in She-Hulk? I think they're in L.A. L.A., yeah. yeah That's what I thought they were, too. Somewhere in California. Yeah. Um, but, and like that, you had, you had mentioned that when they do do it, it's subtly. And speaking of, I mean, like, talk about subtle. I mean, they, one thing we always kind of, or, you know, we and then, like, I, I heard, like, complaints from, like, other people that, like, why don't they ever mention what happened with the events of uh, Eternals, you know, with a big old hand sticking out in the world. And then they finally did, but it's in the newspaper clipping in the background, yeah. you know, of the show. So if you didn't see it. If you didn't see, you wouldn't have known. And at that too, like they they um they mention uh, you know, uh like in the same news article, like or the same paper in the bottom of the another, another article with a heading. Yeah, like mentioning like a bar fight with man with, with claws. Man with claws, whatever. So like an off offhandedly mentioning Wolverine. And then in the last episode, like when, when Jen was talking to the camera, like, you know, oh, like, you know, they're still t- she was talking about the Red Hawk and everything. And she's getting ready for her gala. Her, I don't know if you notice this, but her friend, when her friend jumps out, like, hey, we got to get ready. She yeah, has she the makeup. I was uh, like, like, she went, ching. Yeah. I was all like, wait, what? Like, I was like, that's like, what? That's so like, oh, that's, I, I, I love that. I, I thought it was really, really cool. And speaking of that, I mean, since we're already right there, I mean, it, it's. It was it was it was a pretty big announcement that Ryan Reynolds came out and he was like, "Hey, uh, I'm sorry we weren't at D23, but you know we've been like working hard on this script and trying to get this story ready for you guys." And he's like, "And we got nothing." <laughs> and like, <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> and then you know, and then I like how he's, they even show me like he's like exercising, like if he's in deep thought. And yeah, like, and doesn't he have like the like the black line of Deadpool suit on? Like, yeah, the black one when he's trying to type. Yeah, <laughs> and then and it, it, it you know like and then I don't know you know he says like um wait, I forgot what he says but he's just like kind of talks in the back <laughs> and he goes, "Hey Hugh, you want to play uh, Wolverine again?" And he's like, "Yeah, sure." And that's it. And then, like, they, that's the announcement that, you know, Wolverine is going to be in Deadpool, uh, Deadpool 3. At that, too, um, you know, in that little announcement, right around, it's all like, and we want to do something spectacular, you know, because we're bringing Deadpool to the MCU, you know, so, like, by, you know, <clears throat> you know, now Wolverine, or at least that version of Wolverine is going to be in it. And it was, I thought it was really funny, too, that, like, they did that announcement and they just, like, okay. And then the internet blew up, you know, everyone was all like, what about uh, Logan, this and that? And the next day they released another video where like that's what I was just like, about to say. I was about, like, like explaining all this because <laughs> I, I kind of totally forgot about that. To be honest with you, I, I was like, like oh yeah, they were gonna bring Wolverine and Deadpool, you know, and this is how you know they're gonna reveal mutants and stuff into the MCU. Cool, awesome. I totally forgot about Logan, dude. And I was just like, wait. And then I was glad that they kind of brought up that uh that second video was like the very next day yeah. and dude, that should be, even in that video was funny because they're telling the whole story of what they're going to do. And then the, the song just like plays yeah. over their voices and they're just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and like when he's all like, Ugh, uh, and he's like, Shh. yeah, he does that in his head. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm, and that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I'm really excited about that. And I'm glad that they did explain too, like, okay, yes, Logan did die. That's its own thing. But that happened in 2029 yeah. hours. It's going to, take place in way before that way before know. that <laughs> and then it was just like i thought that was so funny you know and but like okay so how do you think that's gonna work if he's gonna come back one more time as wolverine and then people are gonna be like they're gonna expect more wolverine in the mcu like 
Uh, I. Do you think they're gonna do like a younger version of it? I mean, well, I mean, because you remember he played Wolverine through a lot, and he, they kind of showed him like through the years, especially in X Men Origins. That yeah, you know, he was in like the war. And yeah. All that stuff, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, at this point, I don't, I, I don't really, I'm not thinking too much about it. Like, I think what they're doing is just like you know, because right now with the way things are are you know with the Mutants potentially being announced, you know, like no one's cast, you know, like there's no Wolverine that's already cast. There's no, you know, Professor X. You know, yeah, we've had, we've had, you know, um, uh, Patrick Stewart, Patrick Stewart, you know, show up in Doctor Strange, you know, and in then the multiverse, yeah, and then we're gonna have, uh, you know, this Wolverine in the MCU, which could possibly be from another universe, you know, like just because, like, you know, like they they, they say like the events of Logan happen in the future, you know, it could be in his timeline, you know, whatever. Uh, but also too, I, I think they're just, it, it's just like, it's going to be a good time. And pretty much is kind of what I'm saying. Like, like obviously Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman are like, you know, real tight with each other, you know, like they're always like going back at each other whenever they were doing their movies. Um, you know, there's plenty of Wolverine references in the Deadpool movies already. So it's just like, it, it, you know, I think it's just going to be cool just to see them, um, you know, together in, in the Wolverine. same, <laughs> in the same, uh, in, in the same movie, especially in the MCU. But I'm not, I'm really not expecting to see Hugh Jackman as come back as Wolverine. Full force. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> like he's, he's going to be in this movie and that's going to be it. Like he's not going to be in the MCU, you know, um, and, and, you know, like we're, we'll, we'll eventually get another Wolverine. Just, it's not going to be him. And it's not going to be for a while. Because uh, I think one of the things I read was that like with the way, with the way these with the X Men characters right now, like yeah, they're they were Fox property. Disney bought Fox, but in their like their contract, like you know, like whatever, that if you know if uh, they wanted to put like Wolverine, Cyclops, Professor X, Storm, you know, whatever, whoever, and you know whatever, in a movie, in a future movie, they would have have to use. The actors that played them, you know, either or, like the younger ones, or I mean, the uh, the original ones, or you know, the, or the other ones, they 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 would have to use you know those actors to to play them. I think and they, I think that especially that that's eventually going to run out. I mean, like <clears throat> they eventually they could recast it, but for now, like if they want to put any of them in a the movie, they have to use the actors that are already mm-hmm. casted as them. Which I don't know if that had anything to do with this, but I just thought that was interesting. Um, so it kind of makes sense why we got Patrick Stewart, you know, and then we now we're getting Wolverine back, you know, and Hugh Jackman. Yeah, and they, like I said, him and Ryan Reynolds are really tight, so I'm, you know, <clears throat> pretty sure that had to do with it too. Mm. But I'm excited. Um, I even read too that um, there was a, I guess they did an interview. I forgot who did an interview with uh, T J Miller asking that if he would come back for the third one, and he said no. <laughs> uh, he pretty much kind of just like bagged on uh, on. Um, <clears throat> Ryan Reynolds saying that you know he would never work with them again, even if they gave him like so much money he wouldn't do it. Uh, that he just said he kind of just pretty much like said that Ryan Reynolds is just insecure with his writing and that you know he kind of feels that they that he doesn't like him, uh, being that Ryan Reynolds doesn't like T.J. Miller mm-hmm. <clears throat> kind of thing. And that was pretty much as far as I got with him. I was like, Ew. <laughs> it wasn't that it wasn't a interview he did with Steve-O, was it? Cause I know Steve already said sure a that podcast one. where he was interviewing TJ Miller, and I haven't heard it, but I was just like wondering, because I haven't heard, I haven't heard from him since he got like, you know, like blacklisted from Hollywood. Yeah, I mean he he's been kind of slow to coming back. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I mean, like I said, that's pretty fun, you know, Wolverine and and, and Deadpool, uh, should be pretty exciting, and at that too, and I get in for like another two years, so, you know, I wouldn't expect too much. Um, Here, but here's a silly question: Have you been watching Lord of the Rings on Prime? Oh no, <laughs> God no! And it kind of annoys me that people like are like kind of trying to compare them to Game of Thrones. It's just like just let it be its own thing. They're two different things. <laughs> um, no, I have not been watching it, and I mean, I hear it's okay. I hear it kind of started off slow and then it gets a bit better, but I mean, again, I don't know. I'm not watching it at all. Um. I didn't realize too. I knew it was coming out this year. I just didn't realize it was already coming out next week. Halloween ends, and we haven't even seen a full trailer for that, have we? Like, we, I know we. I think we've they had just came out with teasers. One. I think they just came out with the full trailer, and but like, I haven't seen it yet, though. Yeah, it's it's weird. Like, 
I mean, of course, I'm gonna watch it. I really do not like Halloween Kills. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna watch it, of course. Evil ends tonight. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but it's just weird, like you know, I, like I, I knew, I knew, it was, I mean, I heard, I thought it was coming out this week. I'm like, oh shit, or next week. And I'm like, damn, I haven't really heard much about it. I mean, yeah, I see little ads here and there, like on TikTok and stuff, but like, you know, nothing like, like no one, like no one's doing trailer reactions to Halloween ends. But I think everyone still maybe just has like a bad taste from the last one. You know what's weird too is that when that came out, like a, a lot of the people that I listened to, like the reviews, like they like liked it. I'm like, hey, why? Like I thought you guys were Halloween fans. This movie sucks. Like. There are some of them that are like that. Yeah, this movie is garbage, you know. But like, I, the most of them was like, "What?" Like, and I was like, "I didn't. I don't get it. I don't get it." I think what it is too is like people were just trying so hard to to like it because they just wanted to forget the Rob Zombie ones. That's kind of what I feel because okay, okay. because because n- n- I always get this from a lot of people too. Like, they're like, "Did you ever like? Oh, you know, Halloween ends is coming." Like, yeah, I know Halloween ends is coming out. I was like, I'm, I, I'm. I'm same boat. I'm gonna watch it, but I'm not like thrilled about it. Yeah, <clears throat> I really don't know what to expect. You know, other than you know, yeah, he's gonna be doing a lot more killing. And at this point, it's uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and the granddaughter that are still alive because they killed the daughter at the very end of Halloween Kills. Th- Ju- Judy Greer. I could swear I saw a trailer where like she's still alive. I think, or or maybe she happens to end up in the hospital. I don't know. Whatever. <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, um, you know, so a lot of people ask like, "Oh, you know, you, you think it's gonna be good?" I'm like, I don't know. I mean, it's 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 Michael Myers. I mean, how much more can you do with it? You know that he's just walking and killing, walking and killing, and they're like, you know, yeah, but you know what? I think these new ones are way better than the Rob Zombie ones. I'm like, well, you know, let's. Tell me back at least better bit. than the second one. The second, one, the second Rob Zombie one sucks. I'll give, you, I'll give you the second one. Sucked. But the first one was good. I mean, I, I think I liked it. You know, it, it's what you would expect from a Rob Zombie movie. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I love the, the, the writing on it, too. You know, uh, <laughs> what's that guy's name? The one, the one where he gets the jumpsuit. Do you know who you're missing with? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I forgot his name. Yeah. Um, but, um. But yeah, you know, you know, it's a, I, I liked it. You know, I enjoyed it. And um, oh, my name's Joe Grizzly, bitch. Yeah, Joe <laughs> Grizzly, bitch. <laughs> um, you know, but you know, when it comes to these, I'm just like, Ugh. yeah. You know what, too? Like, and I hate. I, I mean, because like Halloween is like my favorite. Like out of all the, because okay, know, this is the third one, right? Of the new ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, when they brought back Halloween. That was a sequel to the very first one. And it was just Halloween, right? Yeah, Still. Yeah. yeah, it's Halloween, Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends. And then, too, like, like, cause Hall- like I said, Halloween is, like, one, like, my favorite horror franchise, and, uh, you know, and, you know, with with all those, uh, he's my favorite one out of all of them, like, Freddy the and all of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, uh, I feel like these movies are starting to, not to that level yet, but, like, you know how, like, Every year, every like two years, there's a Texas Chainsaw movie out, like another one. Like it just like well, yeah, they, they started they, over they, and then they, they do, they do like, one a prequel this year and, or last year on yeah. Netflix. I still haven't even seen that one. Like they're just like they're just like what they were still doing this. Like, <laughs> so like I I kind of feel like Halloween is kind of it. I hope it's not going down that that path, but it's just like again like Halloween kills. Uh, uh Halloween ends. See, see, I'm already getting these damn names confused. Halloween yeah. ends. You know, comes out. This Friday, and it's not that big of a deal, <laughs> like you know, like it was a big deal when Halloween, <clears throat> the first one was coming out, the Halloween 2018. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. so there was one uh, that came out this year actually, <laughs> yeah, in February, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, <laughs> um, and it's 48 years after, uh, it's supposedly from the original one. <laughs> See, it's just so. like what, like <laughs> okay, <laughs> um. But yeah, I guess we'll see. You know, we'll see it. Uh, you know, whenever it comes out. Are you gonna watch it when it comes out? Or are you gonna wait till our scary movie night? Damn, it's hard though because this is like it's out. I want to watch it. Like we have our hard movie night the following week, right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I I would like to say that I I would wait, but sometimes it's just like oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. Whoops, hand slip. <laughs> 
Um, uh, so kind of going actually going back since, but it, it's you know to keep in touch with the Halloween season. I know you were asking me about um, Werewolf by Night. Yeah, and um, I thought it was a series, but apparently it's it's, it's just a, a short movie, and it's, it's like an hour long, less than an hour. It's like, I mean, fifty four minutes is what. Did you watch it? I haven't seen it yet. But. Oh, okay, I started watching it, and uh, I wasn't really paying attention. I was like, oh, we'll watch it later or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, like, but uh, supposedly they do do a little bit of a time. I, I read somewhere about the uh, dark magic. Oh, huh, maybe. Like what Wanda Vision or what Wanda uses. Yeah, I mean they said it is. It is in the universe. Like it happened. It you know, this this is happening in the same world that. Captain America lived in and Iron Man died in, you know, like it's just everything's the same. It's the same universe, just you know, it's just own its own thing, I guess. Um, and um, oh, did you ever watch Hocus Pocus too? That is also on my watch list. I'm probably gonna watch it tonight. Um, I've heard mixed. I've heard mixed things about it. I started. I didn't finish it. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of people complained about it, <clears throat> like. I guess like they wanted it to be darker or something, but I'm like, when was the original one dark? The original one's funny, man. I watched it the other day. And I yeah, like, I did watch the original one. The original I was like, funny. yeah, like, and I guess because I put it on because I haven't seen it in a while, and I was like, okay, I want to watch it, and I was like, I was like, hang on, this movie is pretty old, though. I don't know, if I'm gonna enjoy it all that much, and I was like, watch, I'm already laughing. I'm like, it's funny, dude. <laughs> like, so you know, the, you know, the funny thing about it though is like, some of the the, the things that they talk about <clears throat> in the original one. And my head kind of like flew over me, mm-hmm. like the virgin, the oh, whole virgin they kept thing. The whole virgin thing the whole time. They kept just like, and like the little girl's like, oh, and he's a virgin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you know when I'm a kid, I'm like, like what? What's the big deal? He's he's like, what do you mean he's a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you know to think about it now, I'm like, ah. Uh. <laughs> it's funny because like even at the end too, like the very last scene, I think it's like I think I, I, it might be like the last line in the movie. Was like where uh, where Daiquiri Binks, you know, kind of you know his spirit gets released from the cat or whatever, and so he's walking with his sister and she she's all like Daiquiri, like his, the ghost sister, like what took you so long? He goes, I had to wait for a virgin to light the candle. <laughs> I was like, what? Why do they keep like picking on the damn kid? Like it's so funny. Um, and then the, I, I thought the part that was actually really funny too was when like they uh, they were they're trying to find. They're trying to find them, and the witches don't want to the house with the guy dressed like Satan, and they're like, "Master!" Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, "Oh my god, this movie's really funny." Thou shall not talk to Master in that tone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was so, I, I thought that was hilarious. Oh yeah, it was funny, but yeah, I haven't. I started the second one. The beginning was interesting. I, I, forgot, I liked it. I forgot how much I really liked Sarah Jessica, Jessica, Sarah, Jessica, Sarah Parker. Jessica Parker. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that was my sexual awakening when I was a kid. Um, <laughs> but uh, what was the other thing, though, too? Um, <clears throat> like, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, the, uh, the bullies. I thought the bullies uh-huh. were freaking Ice. hilarious. Ice. I told you, my name is Ice. <laughs> and he turns around and he's got it on his head. When he steals his shoes and shit. And then even the even the other one, when he laughs at the, the kids jokes, he's all, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I'll, I'll maybe I'll watch it eventually. The beginning part was good; I liked it. But yeah, I just I, uh, I got hungry, so I left. But yeah, yeah, again, that one's another one on my watch list. So definitely gonna watch it. But yeah, uh, I think one of the last things, or you know, I don't know if there's anything else you want to talk about, but I want to talk about Andor, dude. Okay, let's talk about Andor, dude. Yeah, Mister, I'm not fooling it, man. It's kind of slow. It's really slow. <laughs> yeah, I like that's what I like about it. God. And, and okay, I, let me go back. Let's go back to <laughs> Rogue One. Okay, Rogue One, and people get mad at me about this. I think it was one of the most amazing Star Wars shows or, or movies outside of the Skywalker saga that was ever made. Um, what I like, what I really, really liked about it is it gave a more in depth. Um, you know, story to all the spy stuff going on mm-hmm. in this, in the in the galaxy, like the actual rebellion. You know, yeah, the and... actual rebellion and stuff like that. That's what I liked about it. Mm-hmm. You know, and it, it was a little dark. It was kind of dark. You know, Love especially it. when Andor, you know, was you know had the rendezvous with his um, his point guy, and then he had to shoot him. Yeah. You know, and then the stormtroopers are chasing him. 
Uh, and then, you know, that's the other thing. We haven't, I have not seen one fucking Stormtrooper in the fucking Andor series. Good. It's, I like that. And, and I, I, I do kind of like that because I'm thinking like in my head, like, okay, maybe this is before they started recruiting. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Yeah. You know, because this is in his past, like so yeah, many yeah, years in yeah. his past. And like, I mean, this, and, I mean, also too, I mean, this show is very much <clears throat> the start of the rebellion. Like, yeah, like, like it's just a few people. I right mean, now. don't don't get me wrong. The writing is good. The story is oh, good. So good. Um, you know, but I'm just like, come on, bring bring out. You know, where's some of the action, man? Oh, you're like, one of those guys. You want the you know, pew, 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 you know? Yes. I mean, I don't care. Like, <laughs> I don't care if I don't get any fucking lightsabers or anything like that. But I just want some fucking action, dude. This and like, I know like a lot of people too were. Upset with Rogue One because of the they were kind of upset with they were upset with Rogue One like the way they were upset with Suicide Squad the first one, how they barely got any Darth Vader and like how Suicide Squad they barely got any uh, Joker. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that that like I said that was the thing. This was not a focus on Darth Vader. Mm-hmm. You know, Rogue One was not a focus on Darth Vader. It was showing the rebellion, showing all the spy stuff. You know, the things yeah. that they had to do to, um, you know to win this war against the empire and stuff like that. <clears throat> so that's what I really liked about it. And, you know, and the things that we did get in Rogue One with Darth Vader, yeah, those were good scenes, amazing scenes, mm-hmm. especially the very last one. We got him. We got you know, him the, and I thought the, for me that was just good enough. Yeah, yeah. I say we got him for the appropriate amount of time that we got him in that movie. Like, he didn't need to be all over it. He was there. You knew he was there. Obviously, he would make some sort of appearance because, you know, they are studying plans to the Death Star. Yeah. So it made sense. Um, I do not want to see him near this show. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I, I, I can care. Again, I, like I said, I can care less if they bring any type of, you know, force sensitive stuff, any uh, lightsabers, anything with Darth Vader or the Emperor himself. Yeah. You know, just focus on, you know, the Empire growing. You and, know? and aside from this show being a show to where you're like, this doesn't feel like Star Wars. Like, it's Star Wars. It just doesn't feel like Star Wars. And, and it's good. But also, too, this is very much a three episode arc you know arc show like when i mean by that like the first three episodes we got you know two first were set up set up you know you know kind of getting to know who andor is and you know that he's supposed to meet up with this person he wants to sell this thing whatever the third episode you know it all comes together and he ends up escaping and then now we get you know four and five and they build up build up to you know build up you know to this uh to this to to this uh mission that they're gonna do where they're gonna steal you know the payroll for an imperial you know sector whatever um and you know this is like this is a, a a rebel mission and you know again three episodes build up build up and then we're gonna in episode six we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get it and but i i like that like i yeah it's kind of it, it may be a little frustrating that and watching it week week to week you know because you're like and especially with these because they just end you know like this is like like i think episode four like they were t- you know they were around the campfire and they were telling and or you know like he needs to study all this stuff. He needs to get familiar with you know with the plan and the yeah. language, all this stuff. And he's just like, "Can I eat my food?" And then the episode ends. Like <laughs> it's like, "Oh, okay." Like I guess you know. Um, but I, I I like it. Like I really, really, really am digging the show. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I mean, like-, like I mean, like I'm looking at at the fucking trailer right now, and like everything that is fucking showing on there is like the explosion, explosion, explosion. They do show stormtroopers. They do show tie fighters. Oh yeah, we'll and get them. You know, and like the, the, in the last episode, we got the tie fighter, but like they're just flying, you know, oh, flybys and stuff like that. I like that because and but I'm saying like in right here, this one, like we got the tie fighter battle scene, you know, going on too, and you know, like um, showing like like uh, groups of uh, stormtroopers like in formation and all of a sudden in like you know uh, what would you call it like if they're gonna execution formation, you know, yeah. like someone's going down, dude. I did like um, what was that? I believe it was the third episode when they're in that city and all the the townspeople were like yeah, banging on yeah. them and you know giving the, 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 the signal. signal yeah. and shit. That was cool. Yeah, that was fucking badass. Um, um, explain to me a little bit because I may have missed it. What's up with the with the dude? Uh, cereal, uh, corn or corn? Um, Oh, cereal, uh, uh, cereal Karn. Yeah. So basically, like he was part of that, that, um, you know, that security, uh, security, whatever you want to call them, that that were, uh, that were like on that planet, you know, or I guess kind of uh, assigned that sector or whatever yeah. by the Empire. Like they're not, they're not the Empire. They're just mm-hmm. like a security company, you know, 
under imperial control. Okay, ADT. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, uh, I think what it's showing is that, like, you know, obviously in the first episode, you know, like, he, um, you know, he, 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 he knows about those murders that happened, like, you know, and yeah. Cassian killed those two officers. And his, his, his boss, who is from Game of Thrones, with the, the, with the guy's mustache, where he's like, just leave it alone. Like, it was an accident or something, you know? He's from Game of Thrones. He uh, he played um, uh, I don't remember. I don't remember his name. But he he did come on Game of Thrones. Um, and so, yeah, so like he's like his boss, like just leave it alone. But he's like, no, like you know, we're not gonna just leave it alone. You know, he he's uh, persistent. You know, like he like he knows what he wants. And like I think right now we're just showing him being kind of like like brought down. You know, like he's not doing good. Yeah. But eventually, I think he's gonna he's gonna make his way into the Empire, and he's gonna be like a despicable character. Like you know, he has a grudge. The dude clearly has issues. Uh, his mom talks shit about him, you know. Yeah. Like, um, you know, and they're showing him like he's literally at the table eating cereal with his mom, you know, like yeah. And she's just ripping him apart and talking um, about the uncle. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. So like, <clears throat> I think I think how, and I think it's a good parallel, you know, because like we see, you know, Cassian, he's not even in the in the rebellion yet. He's just kind of like doing his trying to do his own thing, but you know he. He's becoming a little more and more connected as the episodes go on, especially with the people that he's with, to where, like, he's going to, he, he will, I mean, we do know that he eventually joins into the fight, you know, he's mm-hmm. he's part of the rebellion, but it's just showing right now, right now, that he's just like, no, like, you guys are crazy, I'm doing it for the money, you know, so, um, I, 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 and I like that, I like showing that side of the empire, you know, where, like, like, they're stepping over each other, you know, and, like, this one chick is, like, like trying to get you know trying to like you know take over the investigation but the boss is like no like you leave it to him you keep doing what you're doing you're doing fine like you need to just you know pretty much put it in her place mm-hmm. um and yeah man i, I like it like I, I i mean i don't know and, and yeah um you know watching it yes I, I i sometimes i forget like oh shit this is in the star wars universe like you know because this could easily be just, like, its own sci-fi mm-hmm. thing, you know. It almost could even be, like, you know, Blade Runner 2, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Um, you know, so, yeah, sometimes I do forget about that. Like, oh, shit, this is Star Wars. You know, I'm, I'm watching something in the Star Wars universe. Yeah. Um, you know, I do like, you know, the people that he's actually, you know, meeting and that, you know, he's even having to tell them, like, if you do it this way, you're going to get caught and you're going to, you're going to, you're the one that's going to sabotage this whole yeah. you know, meeting. And not only that, but like Stellan Skarsgård, who plays Luthen, like, dude, that dude is fucking cool. And I love that scene where he's in the ship. Cause like, you know, obviously he's part of the rebellion, but like he has this, this whole other life that he like puts up a front, puts a wig on. Yeah, and, and like, dude, and his, all the rings. his demeanor change, he just kind of like smiles. I'm mm-hmm. just like, Oh, like that's so cool. And then I love the scene where him and mom Mothra were, were talking. Cause she's a, you know, she's a politician. She's a Senator. And, you know, but she's, you know, She's like kind of like a like a secret spy, you know. Like she's she's you know working. She's 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 trying to start up this rebellion, and I like how they're like looking at the artifacts and they go in the back room and they both change like like his voice. Like, oh, and I'm like mm. like I, I I just I um I really like it and I, I just really am excited to see where it goes, you know, because we have a lot of good actors in it. I mean, the dude from uh, the Bear. <laughs> Uh, he paid the I mean, Ebon like, Moss. Yeah, uh, I can't say that last name. And then Faye Marseille from uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah, and then also um, uh, Anton Lesser. He played uh, Kyborn on, on Game of Thrones, the the Maester, the one that the one that uh, um, the one that was with Cersei. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the one that makes <clears> the mountain. Yeah, all... the one. Yeah, the one that makes the mount. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, dude, is yeah, it? I mean, God, this, this is such a so good. Like, I I'm I'm really enjoying it. Um, and I think like a lot of people are saying like if if you're far you know this far into the episode and you're not liking it like you're thinking it's boring or whatever, then it's probably not for you. You know, <laughs> like, I don't think it's boring. I I'm just my thing is it's just it's just too slow for me. Mm-hmm. But don't get me wrong, I'm I'm definitely enjoying it, definitely loving everything that's going on. <clears throat> I do have to catch myself, you know, going back in because sometimes I'll miss something, you know, that they're talking about. Like, wait, wait, wait what? Like, <laughs> so I'll go back a little bit and I'm like, oh, okay, uh, you know, that's why I was a little confused about that one character, you yeah. know, because that's why I watch it with <laughs> subtitles. So I know what's going on. Like, well, even then, <laughs> I would have still had to go back and be like, wait, what? Like, you know, because you know. 
Some, yeah. Sometimes. And then because I'm always missing my with my uh, fantasy. Oh yeah. Stuff, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're terrible. Terrible. But uh, yeah, dude. Uh, I, I think it's a really good show. I I do feel okay. Maybe it, it will pick up within the last few episodes because I think this is only going to be what like a two season series. Yeah, twelve, 12 <clears> episodes <throat> per season. Yeah. You know, and obviously the uh, second season is only going to deal with everything that's just happening then. Yeah. You know, right then and there. Uh, leading up, I think, up to Rogue One or something like that. And I think we're supposed to get, at least, I I, I would think by the end of this, uh, by the end of this season, we, we would get uh, K two S O coming. Yeah, out. I was gonna say like I hope they bring you know. Oh, I can't wait to see. Like oh, when you hear that voice again, I'm like oh yes, I love this dude. <laughs> and again, dude, like I told you before, like what is it with the, with the droids in the Star Wars universe that I I get more sad when they something happens to them oh, yeah. as opposed to like a person or yeah, uh, which is also interesting too because other than <clears> you know other than that little droid in the first first few episodes, it's not really. And the other droids, like it's all they're all human right now. Yeah. And now that too, man, like those like the rebels. I, I one kid I know that's for sure gonna gonna eat it is the kid is the is the one dude with the manifesto. Um the younger one. What's his name? Um Karis. Karis, Karis. He, he's the one where like Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like yeah, sleeping yeah, yeah. and yeah. Richie wakes him up, you know. Um yeah, he's he, he's gonna eat it. He's, he's gonna, gonna give him the milk. <laughs> yeah, 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 the milk. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. He's he's eating it for sure. And I, I I mean again too. Like I think most of these characters are gonna die, uh, especially the dude from the bear. I think we're gonna like kind of him and Cassian are gonna end up being close, and then he's gonna die or something, you know? Or he's gonna betray him. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's he, see. he he really hates the Empire. His <laughs> his his brother killed himself because the Empire, you know? Yeah. That's what I like too. I like how he's all like, <clears throat> he's all like, she says I gotta come tell you my story, and he tells him everything like how his brother was a farmer and the empire kind of came in and and then his brother ended up you know, you know his brother ended up killing himself and that's he's like that's why he's against the empire, um and uh, but he said he goes yeah he goes that's that's the closest to an apology you're gonna get and he's like okay <laughs> yeah that's cool, um but yeah and at that too like and all these people you know like they're in it for like their own you know kind of you know reason you know like you got, you have that one dude the um uh the last guy what's his name uh terramin terramin he's that imperial officer that that that's uh that's mm. it, that's in the rebels yeah 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 yeah, yeah him <clears throat> i think that's him no that's not him that's the wrong guy i don't know but you know who i'm talking about i think so yeah good show man i can't wait for it I really, I really hate week, 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 week to week for these. These are the ones I wish I could just watch front to back. And of course, like and, when when this <clears> is <throat> over, when when uh, when Nandor is over the season, and of course when uh, House of Dragon is over, I'm gonna just go back and just rewatch them front to back. Cause yeah. And what do you think about them being thirty minutes long? Do you feel that's enough for you, or? Yes, because. <clears throat> They're not waste like like again like you mentioned this this is a really really slow show so like it's not like like they're wasting time there's a lot of dialogue which I love it's, this this is and this is kind of what I hoped Obi Wan would have been like not as slow but like with more like kind of like dialogue or kind of more diving into I, I guess the like I can get that because like thinking about it like I it feels like Obi Wan came and went oh for sure did as, and like <clears throat> as anticipated as it was yeah. it. it Definitely came and went, um, but I, I I think you know for me Obi Wan was still one of my favorites. Um, you know, obviously the Man- Mandalorian is is my favorite. Uh, can't wait for season three to come out. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, can't wait for season two of Book of Boba. <laughs> oh, the, uh, I hope that didn't come out. I really hope so. Um, so what's that? What's what? What are those? Oh, those are yinglings. Oh. But I just left them in there. Um. Are you all caught up with House of Dragon? Yes. Dude. Did not like the last episode. Why? For the same reason everyone else was complaining about. Oh, because it's fucking dark? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot see shit, dude. Like, what the fuck? Look, look. Okay, I get what maybe some of these um, um, 
uh, <clears throat> directors are doing, you know, they want to make things authentic and stuff like that or whatever, you know, uh, they want to give the illusion that this is what it was like with no lights, you know, kind of thing. So we're trying to shoot things with natural light. Dude, it doesn't work. It I, does not I, work I, all the time. And at that, I think, because I, I listened to a podcast where, like, one of the guys, he's, like, a filmmaker. Or and whatever. again, I don't know if that's what they were going for, but I, it just. I, I think it was because they actually, like, those scenes on the beach and everything, those were shot during the day. Someone had to go in afterwards to make it look like it was night. I, I think that they call it, like, uh, I forgot what it's called. There's a word for, you know, but there's a, uh, there's a podcast and he goes and the guy who was a filmmaker, he's like, yeah, they shot this during the daytime. And someone goes in there and like kind of like darkens it like, you know, and he goes, but they did it way too much. Way too much. And, and, and this guy even said, he goes, he goes, he goes, because he said, he goes, I'll watch it on my computer at first. I couldn't see anything. Mm-hmm. He goes, so I went to my TV, which is like professionally col- uh, collaborated. And like, if, if, if your TV is like collaborated, like to the T whatever, like you could probably see it. Yeah. But most of us, you know, we don't, we don't collaborate our TVs, you know, like a director does. Uh, so, like, for the rest of us, we're just like, oh, what the fuck is going on? Like, like, yeah, yeah, that very much kind of, it didn't ruin the episode for me, but that whole part was just like, oh, this sucks. But what do you, I mean, aside from that, what do you, like? <clears throat> like I, I think I think the show is going really good. <clears throat> who is the good guy in this show, Steven? No who one. is the good guy? No one is the good who guy. Who is the Ned Stark of this show? <laughs> no one. There is no Ned Stark. I mean, if there was, it was the knight that was protecting uh um God damn it. Uh Renera? Uh, huh? Renera? Renera. Oh, you mean Sir Kristen? Yeah. Oh fuck that dude. But you know, at a certain point he lost his way. That dude sucks. He's so yeah. bitter. Is he the one that died? No, no, no. Who's, who's oh, oh. the one that got burned? Oh, in the fire? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is where I got right. a little confused. Um, remember in the, in the wedding episode where uh, Sir Kristen goes and starts beating that dude? Yeah. You know? Um, that dude with the with, 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 with the sideways leg? the that's, That little, like, yeah, 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 evil yeah, yeah. one? Yeah, the one that's kind of like uh, working with the, the, queen. Uh, the queen. Yeah. Yeah, that that little weasel. Remember in the episode, like when the queen walks in, and she's wearing green. And he's like talking to his brother next to him. He's like, yeah. you know, about the color and everything. Mm-hmm. That was him. That his brother was the one that was having um... kids with Rhaenyra, and then and then Gimp Leg over here, uh, pretty much killed his dad and his brother to get into good good favors with the queen because they know like he knows that the queen's upset because everyone knows that those are his kids. Or, the, or, or, you know. Wait, 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 wait. Those were his brother's kids? Yeah, yeah. The the, the one that burned? Yeah. M- remember when uh, when she has her baby, R- Renera? And uh, she takes it and, like, he's, like, holding. He's like, he's, like, he's, like, in there with the other kids. And he's holding it. And he goes, like, oh, he's, like, you're, you're asleep in front of the Knights Guard or whatever. Like, that, that, that's the dad. He's the dad to those kids. So what happened to the other guy? Which one? The Knight, the one that. He's still there. He's the one. In the last episode, he's the one where she, when, when she's all like, Sir Kristen, like, I, you know, go bring me, you know, go bring me the eye of one of Renera's kids. And he's all like, wait, what? Oh. And she, and, and she's all like, you know, she goes, you're sworn to me. She, oh, okay. Because that's when she stopped him yeah. because he was going to kill himself. Yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. she. So now he's sworn to her. Uh, ah. Yeah. <laughs> see, that, that, this is why I was confused. And I'm going to have to explain that to my wife because she was confused too. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. I get it now. I get Dude, it. Dude, like, and this is the fact that Renera was having not one, not two, but three kids with this guy. None of them have the blonde, blonde hair. The blonde hair. Or the you white know? hair. Yeah. yeah. Like, and it, <laughs> the fucking poor king, dude. He's so in denial. He's just like, I don't know if you noticed too in that episode, like when they change the actresses and Renera gives, gives birth or whatever, and they're all in the room together. And like, he comes in, he goes, hey, it was a happy day. That motherfucker's missing an arm. The king is missing an arm because if the sickness is yeah. spreading and he's fucking missing an arm. <laughs> he missing an arm? This dude is deteriorating. <laughs> he is dying. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm surprised he's still alive. You yeah. know, I will say, though, like these time jumps, there, you know, there, there are times where it makes sense, you know, because you don't want to spend too much time on like the same thing. Like <clears throat> I think how we talked about last time, whatever. Like, you I don't mean, want to. They're, wanna... they're definitely moving a lot faster. Than, yes. You know, I, what, I what, think. What, the original Game of Thrones were, you know, because like when we when we <clears throat> did the time jump when they were older, she already has three kids. Um, Allison, 
I think she has like th- yeah, she has three kids also. She has the she has Aegon, Aemon, and then a and then a daughter. Yeah, the daughter. And apparently, this daughter is like I want to like if you, again too, dude. Like, <laughs> like you know, she's in the background always playing with bugs and stuff. Yeah. Like she's like mumbling stuff, and she's like mumbling stuff that's gonna happen. Like in in the in the last episode, she was she was uh, when uh when Aemon was being made fun of because he didn't have no dragon. Yeah, and he's talking to Alicent, and she's all like. And she's talking to him, but in the, in, in the background, the, the, her, her daughter's like playing with the bug or whatever, like like messing with the centipede. And uh, Allison is talking to Emma, and she goes, "You know, you will have your dragon." And when she says that, the daughter mumbles something. She mumbles like, "It'll cost you an eye or something." Like, and it's just, and it ends up happening. Like, like she's kind of speaking things that are happening. So her people are like, "Wait, what the oh. fuck?" Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool, man. See, I'm not catching. I wanted to go back and kind of watch, rewatch some of this, these episodes, but um. Excuse me, um, dude. I'm glad that little fucker lost his eye, dude. Oh, dude, that dude stole a dragon, and at that too, he was all like, "He goes, don't mourn for me, mother." He goes, "I may have lost an eye, but I gained a dragon." I'm like, damn, that's and the <laughs> elder dragon too, right? Yeah, the biggest one too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, dude, because uh, like, <laughs> I, dude, I can't believe you fucking punch that shit, out of the little girl. <laughs> dude, they, that fight was brutal. Um. That yeah, that was like oh my god, I'm like no, and he grabs the rock. I'm like oh god, no. And yeah, I see, and I remember you sent uh, me and my wife a meme uh, or a gift with the uh, oh uh, Colbert, you know, yeah, popcorn. W- watching you know watching Game of Thrones like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with the popcorn and shit. But uh, yeah, dude, I'm really like digging where this is going. Um, I was a little skeptical at first of how you know how, you know they're just trying to. Is this just HBO trying to make more money off of an, another show? You know, how the hell are you going to do a spinoff and blah, blah, blah. Um, I didn't know that the, that this was also part of, um, of uh, what, what's the author's name? Um, George R. R. Martin? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that this was, like, actually in the stories. Yeah. Apparently, but it wasn't, like, um, like fully written like out it was just kind of like in in the uh, so apparently in the books it's just kind of like it's in there it, I, like they do, I, do like flashbacks I or something like that I think in the books it's written like if the people in the book were writing it you know yeah. it's like at their narr- narrative so like yeah. like um when uh when kind of like in that one episode where Joffrey is talking about yeah uh, uh what happened to Renera yeah yeah and he it, it, it not what happened you know cuz it, it again they're just they're Saying what they were taught, you know, yeah. um, you know, written by Maesters, you know, whatever. So they don't get, they don't get the full story. Cause like, um, yeah, like I think in the books, it, it says that, uh, um, Damon's wife, the one that he, he killed, he got the horse on her. Yeah. That it said that she died, you know, like, like on a ride, you know, but obviously Damon killed her, but they didn't know that. So yeah. they did that. All they know is that she died on her horse. So. Um, How do you feel about that, though? Do you, what Damon? Damon and Renera, dude, <laughs> it's weird. Okay, it's weird. Like it's it, it's weird, but at the same time, too. Like again, another thing that I I didn't catch watching the first time, but apparently, um, what do you think is worse, <clears throat> Damon and Renera or Cersei and Jaime Lannister? I would have said Damon and Renera when when Renera was younger. Now I'm just like okay, I guess like because she's older now, it's not as weird, but it's still weird because they're their niece and uncle. I don't know, it's it's weird. <laughs> but also too, I don't know if you know just too like in the last episode when they're at the funeral, or whatever. Um, uh, Aegon uh, is talking to his brother Aemon, and they're looking at the sister, <clears throat> and he's like, "She's not even my type," because apparently he's already kind of being set up to marry his sister. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what? Like that's so weird. And I aim in and it was just like, well, it's well, duty, and I would do it, my isn't, duty. Isn't uh, one of her nearest kids also like, like, um, d- uh, destined to marry one of the cousins, the the daughters of Damon? I oh yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. And that's why Renera tells him like, go introduce yourself to them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, it's weird. Like they just they keep it in the family. It's kind of <laughs> so weird. Well, like the whole bloodline thing. Yeah, and also too, like I said, like the. Uh, like the time jumps, don't, the times that I don't like it is like for one example, this this past episode, like in 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 the episode prior where where the they're called the Strongs, the the two guys that got burnt, like the Strongs, you know they you know, the, they got you know they died, and one of them was the Hand of the King, right? Mm-hmm. So 
you know, you're like, oh, you know, Han is dead now. And the next episode, like, then Otto's just back. You know? Yeah. It's just like, well, I would have, I would have liked, liked to see that scene. You know, I would, have liked, I would like to see Otto have to come back and the king put him in his hand again. Like, yeah, he's a great character and I love, I love that he's back, but just like, oh, he's just back. We're not gonna, t- we're not gonna talk about that. You know, like, I, I like how he gets the son when he sees when he finds his grandson all drunk. <laughs> yeah, dude, but then, oh, like he's so good too, cause like. You know, he goes up to Allison, and Allison's all like, you know, I'm a monster. You know, like, everyone saw me. He goes like, damn, like, he pretty much says, like, I know you had it in you. He goes, but now I know that you're willing to fight. <laughs> you know? I mean, despite what's going on and, you know, the relationship between them two, I think Damien's probably my favorite character. Damien. Dude, he just sits back and he's yeah. just taking it in. Like, like dude, d- d- during the whole confrontation when the, when they're trying to figure out what's going on with the kids and why the whole fight started, he's just, like, in, in the back just, like, yeah, just yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then, too, like, you know, you get that part. Even where though like, it was his daughters, too, that were involved. Yeah, yeah. And then you get that part, too, where, like, like they separate Allison and, uh, and Renera. And then on one side you have, like, it's Damon, Allison, and then, like, the... Uh, the Valerians, you the know, Valerians, yeah. And then, like, in the inside, you have you know, like Allison, mm-hmm. Sir Kristen, and Otto in the background. Like, it's like you you already see the sides divide enough. It's just like, oh shit! And it, it it like as much as I love the episode, like I saw the preview for this week, and it's another it's another. Time this one jump. looks good. It's another, yeah, it's another time jump because the kids are already fucking older. The one with the yeah, because the one with the eye patches. Yeah, is already I'm older. just like, damn it! Like, why do we keep doing this? I want to see the in betweens, but uh, I'm excited. Yeah. Well, they they already got renewed for a second season, so that's why I'm yeah. a little curious. You know, with all the time jumps that are going so quick, like, um, you know, how 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 is the second season gonna pan out? You know, or are they just gonna do like kind of like what they're doing with Andor? Like, you know, second season is just gonna be present stuff. I like, and again, like I, at this point, me and you are not really <clears throat> dove into the lore of it all. I mean, I I I I, I know what I've seen, you know, and you know, kind of like what I hear. Yeah. Um, but. If you had any predictions, I, again, this is this is a Game of Thrones show. It's, some shit is is possibly going to happen, and it's probably going to be unexpected. If I had to guess, I think either one, Rhaenyra and or Alicent, one of them is going to die. Well, I, we, we already know Rhaenyra is going to die. Um, yeah, but I think and I, and I, now I think the second <clears throat> season would be more like about the kids, you know, when they're older and they're kind of like, you know, like it's going to be a, more of a jump, but... I don't think we're gonna get a lot of Allison and Rhaenyra in the second season. I, I, I so uh, I don't here know. and here's my thing because again, you know, we're not, I'm not part of the whole lore. I've never read any of the books. <clears throat> um, the Mad King was whose son? None of their sons. But like, what? But what side did he? Like, was it from one of Rhaenyra's like, you know, offsprings that later on had kids, or was it from the think, King and I Queens? Think, I think it's gonna be from the King and Queens. From their side, you know, because because the, the king is named Aegon, yeah, and could. so the boy, the little boy, is named Aegon. So he's gonna, he's gonna eventually his like, you know, whatever kids or grandkids, someone <clears throat> in his in his line is gonna is gonna you know is gonna birth the Mad King. So I don't know who, I don't know how far it is from there, but yeah, I think he, he like his his bloodline is gonna eventually creep down and okay, because also too like the Maester. Um, it's, it, it, John too. John John Snow is named Aegon, right? Isn't it like at the end they're like his name is Aegon Targaryen, the uh, eighth of his name or something. So it's like, oh, shit. yeah, dude. <laughs> See, yeah, at that too. So that means Aegon, the Mad King, was seventh of his name. I don't know, but Aegon, this one, that's nothing they do, man. They name their kids the exact same things every fucking show. Oh, what's his name? His name's gonna be Joffrey. Oh, fucking, we got rid of Joffrey's. You know, like what the fuck. <laughs> And then like you got Renera and you got Reyna and it's just like it's so fucking confusing. That's how you gotta put some subtitles on. I'm just like, who 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 are you talking about now? Because <laughs> yeah. I think I was watching a review the other day and he was talking about the two sons from the king, and he he kept calling Aegon Amon the whole time, just like it's Aegon. Like oh my god. Like <laughs> but it's like it's so easy to get so like yeah. confused with these damn names, dude. Like they're all brothers and sisters and shit. It's so weird. <laughs> But I'm loving it. I cannot wait for tonight's episode. Um, yeah, I, I love this show. Yeah, for sure. I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm <clears throat> you know, again, I was real skeptical. This is one that I was skeptical on. It was like, you know, like, how are they going to do a, 
spinoff. You know, I'm still skeptical on how they're going to do a Jon Snow spinoff. Yeah, that's going to be weird. You know? Considering Jon Snow was like my least favorite from Game of Thrones. <laughs> it was a little biatch. <laughs> Oh no, I don't want to have sex with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Lord Commander the Night Watch. <laughs> Lord Commander. But, yeah, man. I mean, I think that's all I'm watching for now. Um, I mean, you know me. I'm always watching something. Yeah. You know, there's just so many I can't even remember sometimes. <clears throat> like, I, after after we even shoot a podcast, I'm like, oh, shit, yeah, I wanted to mention this one. I totally forgot about it. <laughs> But, yeah, as far as, like, main stuff going on, yeah, definitely She-Hulk and or <clears throat> and um, uh, House of Dragons is, like, what's, like, my main thing right now, what's going on. For any movies, any movies, not not that you've seen, but any movies that you anticipating coming out? Like, I know, like... Wakanda Forever, bro? Well, yeah, yeah, obviously. And I, 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 well, that's a good answer, because that's actually next month. Yeah. But I know, like, Black Adam's coming. I could give two shits about Black Adam. I'm, 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 I'm excited for that I do one. not care whatsoever. It's so annoying how much I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it is annoying, because you keep telling me how much you don't care. I don't care. Like, <laughs> like, I really feel like they're trying to make the rock, like, the face of the of the DC universe. It's like, why? Somebody's got to. They took out uh, uh, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. With the Rock though, he's so corny, man. I know you're. I know you're uh, excited for Avatar. Ugh. <laughs> Avatar sucks. <clears throat> I still want to see this one, Bullet Train. That one. Yeah, I want to see Bullet Train. Amsterdam is another one I want to see. Oof, I heard that one's uh, poo poos. Mm. Yeah, I think I think it only made like eighty three million. At the, I was reading today, I think it only made like eighty three million at the box office, and it cost like one hundred and eighty million or something, <laughs> like. It, yeah, they're gonna have to make all their money. It through, bombed. Uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> I mean, I don't know, dude. I mean, like, as far as like outside of like, you know, Star Wars, uh, Marvel, you know, and stuff like that, I I, I really don't know what mo- other movies that like I'm like kind of like anxious or you know, <clears throat> and you know that I really would like to see. I mean. Like I said, uh, one I did mention was like Amsterdam. I want to see that one, you know, with um, Christian Bale, Christian Bale, David, uh, uh, John David Washington, Margot Robbie. <clears throat> that one looks funny and interesting. Um, but yeah, like I, I just, I just don't know what else is like coming out that that's like outside of, you know. Yeah, there's not really much. I mean, there's some. I don't know. There's not really much anything like to like. Get, yeah, super excited about. Um, but what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, so we just we're getting one kind of forever, and then that's it for this year, right? We're not getting no more superhero movies. I don't think we are. As far as from Marvel, no, I don't think so. I think that's it. I heard that movie's gonna be like in two hours and 40 minutes or something. It's gonna be the second longest uh, MCU movie, yeah, behind uh, Endgame. So, who do you think is in the suit? Um, the sister, <laughs> what's her name? Shuri. Shuri. I would have liked it to have been the other girl. Um, Koye? Yeah. If I'm Walking Dead? No, 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 not, not Koye. Uh, the other one, the, the, his, oh, his uh, love interest. The Peter Nyong'o. I forgot her name in the, yeah. in the, in the, in the movie. Oh, yeah. But I, I get it why they, why they would go with the sister. Yeah. Um, I just, I don't know, like. <laughs> no, no, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. What? No, no that's cool. <laughs> What? Uh, now I'm going to be curious. Nah. You can't tell me off camera, dude. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, because it's, it's, it's just, it's it's so predictable, you know, like that they will put Sherry in the suit. I mean, again, like just like you said, I understand why. It's just like, it's it, at, this, at this point. It's I mean, that's what, we're, that's what we're expecting. Oh, yeah. If it's not, if it's somebody else, I mean, cool, awesome. Or if it's multiple people, okay, cool. But it's just like. I'm also curious of, of uh, Ironheart, too. Oh yeah! Oh, I can't wait for her. She, I, I, I thought that looked cool. Like, yeah, I thought. I just thought I saw it in the trailer. Like, oh, like that's fucking cool. Um, Namor. That I, it kind of took me out of it with his little flying feet. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of took me out of it. I'm like, I'm like, uh, what was it? The character, uh, God, <laughs> Hermes. 
Yeah. From uh, Hercules. This is what it reminded me of. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> Hermes on, on the animated, Hercules has the flying you know, shoes. Shoes, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's just like, he's over here like fucking flying, dodging. I'm just like, <laughs> there are wings on his feet. <laughs> like, like, I mean, he's a mutant. Yeah, that's true. He is a mutant, too. So, well, that's, that's what, you know, he confirmed as he's supposed to be a mutant. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'm interested, you know. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm definitely going to watch it. I like I, I I like the Black Panther movie. I didn't think it was the best movie. Um, you know, I, I liked it though. Better than if Shang-Chi. I go watch it, I didn't want to go watch it at Flix. Oh, I saw my movie passes. Yeah, well, I mean, we can't we can't use them for that. Well, yeah, no, no, but I I've been trying to think recently, like, cause I mean, like, ah, the movie passes, I want to go. I was like, but there's nothing really out. Like, I don't nothing really want to see right now. Like, you know, I don't want to waste them on like, don't worry, darling. You know, like, you never went to go see Maverick. That's why he gave them to you so you go see <laughs> yeah, Maverick. No, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Is this doing tears? I don't think so. Not anymore. It out right it, it, it's streaming now. Hmm? Well, like to buy. Oh, damn. dude, they're not giving up on that movie. Like, yeah, they're not. They're, <laughs> <laughs> which is funny because, like, at least he isn't for sure. He's like, "Fuck, dude, this we're is not this. putting the stream." <laughs> damn, dude, come on, Tom. You already made enough money, bro. <laughs> yeah, <it's letting laughs> Dude, everybody went out to watch that movie. I'm like, I feel like I'm like one of the only ones that didn't get out. To yeah, watch and you that were movie. the one more excited to go watch it. I know. <laughs> well, we were supposed to go, and then Julie got sick. <laughs> Not to give you our tickets. <laughs> I should have just gone with you. Should have. <laughs> we could have just gone. <laughs> I, would, I would go watch it again in theater. If it's still in theaters, I'll go watch it again in theaters. It was that good. With the Dollar Theater. Fuck no. There's no Dollar Theater. Somewhere. Yeah, there is. There's actually one in the in, uh, medical area. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like feet in there. Ugh. No, thank you. <laughs> bubble gum, bubble gum all over the floor. You're <laughs> walking. No, I'm, by the time I get to my seat, I'm not going to have no shoes. Yeah. Well, man, I mean, I'm going to be like uh, the burglar from uh, Home Alone when he gets all his stuff gets stuck on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I don't have anything else. I mean, I'm trying to think of like just little stuff here and there. Slipknot, new album. Oh well, <clears throat> well quick qu- quick question: How was the uh, you went to go see a show? How was it? Manchester Orchestra. Yeah, oh, they they were really good. They were so good. Yeah, uh, I went by myself. I went by myself. I saw that that one like lady. Chick- yeah, dude, it was like, it was like she's like dancing. I'm like, bro, can you sit the fuck down? What are you doing? Like, you can't dance to this music. <laughs> like, I I think I was more annoyed because she was like riding my line of path. I'm like, she was like literally blocking the singer. I'm like. And the guy in front of me too, he was all like, "Oh man, she's up again." <laughs> <laughs> I was all like, "And because that's that's because there was another lady that was like standing up, and she was like more like energized." But then I think people complained, so she like moved off to the side. <laughs> I was just like, "Sit the fuck down!" Like there's people behind you, you know what are you doing? Uh, but it was good. It, 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 um, um, you know, I've seen him once. You yeah yeah you see something brand new, right? Uh no no no. Okay, then twice. <clears throat> I seen him with Brand New, and then I saw him with uh, Saves the Day. Oh, yeah. In, in Austin. Yeah. Yeah, they played a lot of their old stuff. Um, and then they played some, you know. Which sucks, though, dude, because I, I really liked them, but I don't know why I never just, like, why I never started listening to them. Oh, their new album, or the one that came out, I think, like, a year ago or something. It's so good. I've been, that's all I've been listening to is just, like, that album. Like, um, but yeah, no, they put on a really good show. Um, there were just some songs that I wish that like they would have played, but they didn't play. And I'm just like, damn, I was really hoping they would just had play that one. But I was like, okay, I'm good. It was fun. Nothing to complain about. Eighteen dollar beers. Eighteen <laughs> dollar beers. I mean, thankfully the people next to me didn't show up because those seats were cramped. I was like, Ugh. those people sitting next to me. See, I, I don't, I don't like Aztec, dude. I hate Aztec. The seats suck. I, I mean, they look like they suck. I've never been in the seats. I've been in the general admission but I mean even itself the plates itself is just not great I'd rather be at <clears throat> Vibes or Rockbox or even I'd rather even be at Paper Tiger dude <laughs> yeah Paper Tiger now because they have clean restrooms <laughs> but, so, yeah well I mean, glad glad it was a good show I wish yeah. you know like, again I I, I I don't know why I just never really got like I liked them when they played both with Brand New and Saves the Day I don't know why I never like started listening to them mm-hmm yeah, uh, it, they sure reminded me a lot of like how brand new was when we saw them. Like they just like they play their music and they rock out like and you know you like you don't really realize like damn like they're rocking out until yeah. you actually see them live. Like oh shit! Like cause you hear the music, it doesn't Ooh. translate. So you see them like oh shit! Like they're fucking going at it. Um, 
But yeah, it was good. You know, some like their slower songs. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Cause, yeah, cause, like he sings a lot. And I love the slower songs, but like, like I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like he's just like I was actually um, er- earlier I was watching their live set from uh, Austin City Limits because they played in Austin the day after mm-hmm. here. <clears throat> uh, actually, yesterday actually, and so I saw, you know they uh, it, it was recorded. And they put it on on YouTube, and I was just like watching. Like damn, they're fucking good, but. Yep. I'm gonna have to start listening to him. <laughs> so. But yeah, dude, um that's pretty much what I got. Um What else you got? That's it. That's it? Oh, good. I'm good. Cool. Wait for how ready for House of Dragon tonight. Wait for <laughs> that hot D <laughs> House of the Dragon. House hot. of the Dragon. Okay, we'll see what happens with She Hulk. She Hulk in this in this coming week. Yeah, next week. We'll see. I mean again, I like from where it is, I don't know where they're going. Yeah. So I think we're what we're gonna try to do <clears throat> I don't think we're gonna shoot an episode next weekend. But I definitely want us to try to shoot one the day before Halloween. Okay. Because okay, so. that that'll be after our scary movie night too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, okay, all right. So yeah. Yeah, we got two more weekends, three more, three more weekends. Yeah. Or maybe we could even shoot another one, a short one. Yeah. But definitely want to do one before Halloween. And- oh yeah, because we gotta do, we gotta review Halloween. See, we gotta watch it next week. We can't wait. To- <laughs> we gotta watch it next week. I think we gotta do that. We gotta do that one, and we gotta do. Uh, because we did an episode last year for Halloween Kills. We gotta. Do- I, okay, okay. Let, let, let's make a plan of doing, doing this. It's, it's. We, we had to do Halloween kit. Halloween ends. Yep. Sorry, mom. Sorry. Uh, Hocus Pocus too. Oh. And um, uh, Werewolf by Night. All right. Okay. Yeah. I think mean, that's good. I can do that. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. So till then, uh, Stephen, Eddie, uh, be sure to follow us and everything. And cheers. cheers.